Hi, well, welcome to our listeners. Um, today, I'm thrilled to be talking to Jackie True, who is a professor of international relations and the director of Monash University's Center for Gender, Peace and Security. She is also one of three editor-in-chiefs of uh, one of our journals, the European Journal of International Security, uh, which is also known as um, EJIS or Aegis, as it is commonly known. Um, welcome, Jackie. Delighted to be talking to you. Great to be talking to you too, Juliet. Um, well, I'm going to get straight onto it. So let me start um, by asking you about your role as one of the lead editors um, of EJIS. The team took over in early 2019, I believe. How have you found the last two years of running the journal? Well, I think like many journal editors, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely been unprecedented times uh, during COVID pandemic. Um, I was really happy to join the team and uh, to take over the journal in 2019. I actually got a, a visit to Leeds and, uh, and to London. And, and so that was very exciting to meet the colleagues and to think about how we could shape this journal uh, in its second iteration, because uh, it is still a relatively new journal. Um, however, um, I think we spent the first year, uh, fortunately the previous team had left us a, a great legacy. So we spent the first year really uh, ensuring, uh, you know, those papers got to print um, and then began sort of shaping our, our vision for the journal. Um, and, and then COVID hit. Um, so we've had two years, but I would say um, year on year, our submissions have been climbing um, and we have expanded uh, to four issues and we will be expanding further. Um, so it's very exciting that despite the pandemic, uh, scholars of security studies around the world have been quite prolific. Yeah, well, that's amazing. So what sort of things, um, what sort of publication is it? What do you publish? Well, I think the European Journal of International Security uh, is intended to be, uh, you know, a broad journal for the, the cutting edge uh, scholarship uh, on all aspects of security studies. So we really, we really don't want to be a clicky kind of a journal uh, where we just publish the kind of work that, uh, you know, we're most familiar with. We really want uh, to promote uh, intellectual engagement and diversity. Uh, and I think in the first instance, that means even though it's called European Journal of International Security, um, in fact, we, we really welcome, uh, you know, submissions from all parts of the world um, and collaborations between uh, scholars from different methodological and, and theoretical perspectives. Um, we don't want to be a paradigmatic journal. We want to be that generalist place where you actually can read the best scholarship coming from any uh, perspective. Uh, and so far, I think we're, we're achieving that aim. Um, it, it is possible to, um, you know, to be, uh, you know, a, a home for all. Hmm. And do you encourage um, submissions from um, ECRs, early career researchers? Absolutely. And I think that's um, really central to, to our aims um, under this uh, editorial team. Um, so we have um, really been trying to solicit, you know, the new work from our recent PhDs, um, certainly where we see good papers being presented at conferences, certainly online conferences these days. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously the journal has a tradition and it's, you know, it's in its uh, short duration of promoting that dialogue between junior and senior scholars. So we have had forums um, around that. But looking toward next year, we are already um, soliciting ECR papers uh, for BESA panels uh, with the aim of really trying to give constructive feedback on those papers uh, and, you know, to ideally um, encourage authors to, to submit to uh, EJIS. And what about um, submissions on critical security studies and gender and security? Yes. Well, I mean, I think, you know, like um, we look, I would say the large majority of submissions we get are from, uh, you know, scholars who work on war and strategy and uh, conflict and, and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, you know, still would be a minority of, of submissions from critical scholars. 
uh, post-colonial scholars, feminist scholars, but we have a substantial representation there and we've been able to publish some really terrific papers. Um, so I think that, um, and I think the key thing is that uh, we're really interested in, in critical perspectives, post-colonial perspectives that are particularly addressing current security challenges. So that applying those perspectives um, to, to issues of climate, uh, to issues of nuclear weapons, uh, you know, to new challenges around cyber security, um, around uh, gender and security uh, in, in current, uh, you know, conflict situations and so on. So um, I think by, by having that in a way grounded focus, uh, empirical focus, we can actually promote scholarship that comes from, uh, you know, different theoretical uh, backgrounds uh, and inspirations. Mm, okay, so um, if you're out there and you're listening um, uh, to this interview and you, your, your, your interest is, you know, you, you've got some interest, what, what would you do um, to submit something to, to the journal? How would you go about it? Right. Uh, well, I think, I mean, I think it's uh, obviously very simple from the website, um, but I think it's always good, like if you have an abstract, um, to actually, you know, send a, an email to one of the editors, definitely myself included, um, with your abstract and, 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 and actually having read our vision statement for EJIS, which was published in 2020, uh, and tell us how you feel your paper is really cutting edge, um, you know, how it's, uh, you know, expanding theory or methodology uh, or empirical debates uh, in the field. Um, and, and, and I think that, you know, just, just ask, you know, if you're unsure whether it's ready uh, to be reviewed, um, it's always fine to, uh, to ask for, a, for an opinion of whether this would be something that the journal would be prepared to, to put out to colleagues. Um, and I think um, that's one way. Another way would definitely be to respond to our current call. Uh, for papers uh, for the BISA panel um, or to provide feedback on those papers. That's, that's another opportunity. Another way is really soon, uh, literally, I think by the end of this week, we are going to be putting out um, a call which has been curated by our regional editors, Navnita Bahara from the University of Delhi uh, and Jennifer Mitson from Ohio State University. And that's going to be really focused on uh, promoting global south and global north collaborations, um, really uh, looking for um, you know, new perspectives, which may be critical of critical security studies, for example, uh, perspectives that extend our understanding of what it means to decolonize international security studies. So if I was an early career scholar, I would be looking out for that call, follow us on Twitter, um, and that will be the first place it will be released, uh, and have a think about how your work uh, can respond um, you know, to, the, to, that, uh, to that call. I think that's a, that's a very good opportunity, and we are definitely looking uh, to promote uh, early career scholars who often are the ones who've read everything that really current and they've done even under COVID conditions, um, you know, they've been able to, you know, and they've had to carry on their research. And so, um, you know, and now looking for an opportunity and looking for an audience. Uh, uh, and I think EJIS would, would be very pleased, um, you know, to publish that scholarship. Oh, well, that's great. I mean, you've given, given some great tips there. Um, I think for, for people um, listening out. Um, so I'm just thinking ahead and there are <clears throat> some big face-to-face um, -face, um, international studies conferences um, coming up um, in 2022, including our own one um, at BISA. And I just wondered if the journal would be present at any of them um, and uh, you know what, what we could look out for. We'll be present absolutely at both the International Studies Association next March in Nashville and my colleague Jason Ralph will be attending uh, in person. I will be attending virtually um, and I know it is going to be a hybrid conference um, and so I will be definitely um, attending the virtual panels with an eye to potential EJIS submissions uh, and certainly encouraging ECRs 
but also, you know, really cutting edge scholarship um, to, to submit. And I think the thing that you, you're going to get with EJIS um, is you're going to get a rigorous review process. Um, all papers receive, you know, uh, three reviews, um, but you will not get reviewers from one uh, standpoint or one perspective. You will get, um, you know, a diversity of engagement and you will get constructive engagement um, and engagement that will help your paper um, whether or not it, you know, it is ultimately accepted or not. So, and I'd like to think that that really constructive tone um, that we take seriously every submission is really critical to, to our vision of um, really promoting the best scholarship in the field. Um, and I would just say that I think that some, you know, some journals have a more specific mission uh, and a more specific community in mind. And we absolutely see the world of scholars as our community. So, so ISA will be a great opportunity um, and to meet Jason or myself. Um, and also our regional editors. Um, so we have three regional editors for Europe, USA and Asia. Uh, Navneeta Bahara, as I mentioned, Jen Jennifer Mitson and, and Karen Agastam and they'll also all be attending. So, uh, and then with BESA coming up in, in, in 2022 in Newcastle, um, you know, we are, as I mentioned, we are convening a panel for, for ECRs and postgraduate students. Um, uh, and we are also looking to uh, collate some other panels to uh, from from submissions. So uh, both Ted Newman and, and Jason Ralph will, will be present uh, there. Um, and uh, so I think uh, you know it's um, it's a great opportunity to meet the editors uh, and to to learn of you know the, the opportunities in the journal. Um, and where how and how your work might uh, sit and uh, you know also I think the kind of lead times that you can expect what the process will look like um, and uh, but I would I'd like to say like if I could just say specifically I've been really happy as as a co as an editor one of the editors um, to really build up the the collection of papers published in the journal really focused on feminist security studies. Um, and, uh, you know, not only in Europe, but beyond. And um, shortly we will be uh, publishing open access uh, curation of all of those papers um, from the past, you know, two to four years. So I think the, why, by doing this, and we've also recently done this with cybersecurity, um, scholars who are working in that subfield can also see, you know, these are the other papers we've published that you might want to speak to, that you might want to engage with, um, you know, whether or not you cite and reference them in your own, but that might also shape your thinking um, so that you can actually enter the conversation in the journal uh, and be part of the journal uh, and the community uh, of security studies scholars uh, that it seeks to foster. Mm. So um, one final question, um, which is really about your aspirations for the journal over the next few years, whether you and the, the other editors have, you know, some ideas that we might hear about. Absolutely. And I think I referred to, when I referred to our um, new sort of call for a special issue that we're going to be curating around decolonizing international security studies and, and really engaging different perspectives, um, which really interrogate some of the canon, um, but not just from a Global South perspective, although that's very valid, but also from, from a perspective that, that sort of engages the, the different traditions. Um, and I think that, you know, our plans are that, you know, we, we really do want to see that broad church and we really want to see that engagement. Um, so, um, you know, I think that often journals um, develop their niche and you know as I said before their clique or their club and they have their conversations in group and what we want to do is broaden those uh, and hopefully bring more people to the to the conversation um, and we definitely want to bring um, scholars in the you know who who work from the perspective of the global south whether or not they're located there is a different matter um, but we know many colleagues, um, you know, are, are sort of challenging some of the, the assumptions and norms associated with 
how we conceptualize security uh, and how we have conceptualized security um, in, in, in Western contexts. So that's, that's really important for us. And I, you know, I expect to see that um, shaping up over the next two to three years in the journal as we push through the pipeline. Excellent. Well, it's all very interesting to hear. Um, you know, EGIS is, is doing so well, and there's certainly much to look forward to and, and look out for. Um, I just also wanted to mention that um, at ISA, of course, BISA is holding a reception on, um, on Thursday, the 31st of March, which is specifically for um, both our journals. That's EJIS and RIS, um, and everybody is welcome to that. I think that's at 7.30 on the 31st of March. Um, so we look forward to seeing you there. Well, um, thank you, Jackie. So is there anything else you'd like to add um, before we finish? Yes, actually there was. And I, I just I just reminded that while we're speaking, Juliet, um, the UN uh, Climate Change Conference is uh, happening in Glasgow, the COP. Um, and I wanted to mention that uh, EJIS is very keen to, to publish works on ecological security. Um, so this is, uh, you know, a growing subfield uh, in the study of security and, and certainly in many parts of the world, climate uh, change is the major threat to human security. Um, and I would just note that Matt McDonald uh, from University of Queensland is giving the EJIS annual lecture uh, at Leeds uh, next month. Um, and we re and that's actually in advance of his new book to be published by Cambridge University Press. So um, I just I'm really hoping that uh, Matt's lecture uh, will also inspire um, you know further research uh, and definitely some submissions to EJIS on ecological security. Um, thank you very much, um, Jackie. It's been very interesting talking to you. Um, I, I just wanted to say a couple of words um, about how to access the journals. Um, so if you are a BISA member and you are interested in looking up um, EJIS articles, you can actually access those for free um, as part of your membership. You just need to log on to your account. Um, uh, and if you're not a member, you may want to see if you can get access uh, via your institution. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about BISA and the benefits of membership, please do visit our website, which is www.bisa.ac.uk. Um, thanks so much, Jackie. It's been fascinating talking to you. You're very welcome, Juliet. Lovely to talk with you as well. Yeah, you too. And um, thank you to everybody uh, for listening.